Last year was a nearly perfect season for the Hanover Park Hornets. The team captured the North Jersey Section 2 Group 1 Championship and also advanced to the Group 1 Finals. They also had an individual state champion for the first time since 1998 when current assistant coach James Laval won his third title. Despite the success of last season, for head coach Dave Ryerson, there's always room for improvement. I mean, every year we, we set, you know, we have a high bar here and we try to set it a little bit higher every year. Last year we, co we took a couple more steps towards our ultimate goals. Um, you know, our kids work hard and it's important to them. It's a lifestyle. Um, you know, they don't just pack it up and leave it when they leave, you know, our wrestling room. They're thinking about it and talking about it all the time. Uh, it means a lot to them. Uh, the kids are excited. Um, you know, we didn't, we didn't achieve what we wanted to last year, but we're looking forward to getting another crack at it. One wrestler to have a huge role in the team achieving its goals is senior Gennaro Cucolo. Cucolo has been a consistent contributor for the program in his time there. He has also 14 wins from a personal milestone, 100 wins for a career. Cucolo and the other senior leaders know exactly what they need to do to get the squad ready for the long grind of a season. Um, we just try to keep getting better and better every year. We practice harder and harder each day, work out in the mornings, on the weekends, whatever it takes. Just keep improving. That's pretty much what we do. Last year we stepped up with the conditioning a bit. This year we have to this year we've stepped it up even further, started the morning runs even earlier than we did. One wrestler who contributed greatly to the Hornets' success a year ago is sophomore Anthony Safala. Safala finished second at the Morris County Tournament, but rebounded to win the 106-pound championship in Atlantic City. He is currently out of action as he sustained a compound fracture during a preseason tournament requiring surgery. He should be ready to go by January 1st. Even after winning the ultimate prize at his weight, he knows there's always ways to get better. Um, there's always room for improvement. Um, I know my conditioning has to get a lot better. Everything, I mean, every year you'll get better and there's always room for improvement. Shortly after filming this team preview, Coach Ryerson resigned. Ryerson will reach for comments that he had a family issue that needed taken care of, but would still help the team when possible. While Ryerson will be Miss Matt's side, whoever takes over will be stepping into an ideal situation. He will inherit a team filled with experience and depth at key positions. The Hornets also want to show that last year was not a one-year wonder and that they can have sustained championship success on a state level. This team is like a family, and that's never more evident than in their motto, La Familia Della Lata, which is Italian for family fight. This team will fight like a family, and in the end, I think they'll succeed and make a repeat trip to Tom's River. For MorrisCountyHSWrestling.com, Donald J. Brower reporting.